Norman celebrates Chinese New Year. Norman watched a segment on the 8 o'clock news about Chinese New Year. He found the red and gold paper lanterns and general good cheer infectious, and so did Norman. After the segment, Norman had a craving for Chinese takeout, and searched the internet for nearby restaurants. However, before he could dial, Norman remembered he had just eaten a meal, and would have to save the adventure for another day. The following night, Norman remembered that Chinese people would be celebrating the New Year for at least the rest of the week, though he could not remember why. Norman smiled, as this meant he had all week to plan his trip to the restaurant. Norman ate some peas and carrots and went to bed. Norman thought it would be a nice gesture to wish the restaurant staff a Happy New Year, and an even nicer gesture to do it in Chinese. But when Norman searched for translations on his computer, he was horrified. There were popular examples for both Mandarin and Cantonese. Panicking, Norman had no idea which he should use at the restaurant. Norman thought about this, and breathed a sigh of relief. He would learn both phrases. It was another good night for Norman. Norman practiced asterisk, gong shi fa kai, asterisk and asterisk, gong hei fat choi, asterisk in front of the bathroom mirror every night for the next three nights. The day arrived. Norman could not wait to get home from work. He didn't even remove his tie before he phoned and placed his order. He asked Norman to wish him luck, as Norman left for the restaurant. Norman gave his phone number to the cashier, who went to retrieve his food. Looking more closely at the menu, Norman realized dishes from many regions of China were available. He could not decide which phrase to use with the clerk. When the clerk returned, Norman cleared his throat. Zinian Kuila, said the clerk. Thank you, said Norman. Norman could not wait to tell Norman about his adventure. 